You want to go away for a year? I used to have this appetite for my life, and it is just gone. I want to go someplace where I can marvel at something. I'm going to Italy, and then I'm going to India, and I'm going to end the year in Bali. To take a book that's so popular, I think you can't shortchange them on what is an essential element in the book, which are each of these places that she goes. And you know, it was a really long shoot. It was a really hard shoot. We went to all these different countries. We got sick, we got fat. Well, that whole section is so delicious. I gained 10 pounds, I will admit it. You know, it was fun. We'd shoot all day and then we'd eat all day and then at night we'd go out and eat some more. I'm in love. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. I'm so tired of saying no and then waking up in the morning and recalling every single thing I ate the day before, counting every calorie I consumed so I know exactly how much self-loathing to take into the shower. She said, you know why this book is a phenomenon? Because it's given women permission to eat. Run fast for your mother, run fast for your father. I don't think it's possible to go to India and not come away a little different than when you got you. I mean, it's like nowhere else on earth. But she does get there thinking she's accomplished a certain amount and then it all kind of falls apart again. I cannot focus in there. All I think about is my meditation room and how to Decorate. The meditation room is within groceries. Decorate that. You always talk in bumper sticker. I do, and here's another one. You have to learn to select your thoughts the same way that you select your clothes every day. Now, that's a power that you can cultivate. If you want to come here and you want to control your life so bad, work on the mind, and that's the only thing you should be trying to control. Because if you can't master your thoughts, you're in trouble forever. I am trying. That's, yeah, hello, that's a damn problem. Stop trying, surrender. She meets this person who is so hard on her but becomes so meaningful to her and it's that it's that agony of just trying to break through to something i kind of envy guys like richard um who are so direct and honest and don't really concern themselves with the consequences because it's coming from a place that is is it's not mean or it's not it's no intent to be hurtful it's just to help somebody, you know, help them, help them. It was a big time commitment, a big performance commitment, a big travel commitment, you know, displaced my whole family for five months. She has three kids and they take up her time and she's so great with them and that's why, I mean, she was in a great, great place when we did the film. Um, she's she's a, a very happy lady. I have the perfect man for you. Everyone has a little love affair in Bali. Are you married? Everybody needs husband. I am so sick of people telling me I need a man. You don't need a man, Liz. You need a champion. He meets her in, the, in Bali, which is this beautiful country. At the very beginning, they are very scared of each other because when you know that you're attracted to something, you are scared of it. It's like in school when we were kids and you talk to everybody in the class but the girl you like. <laughs> and we've all been there. And at the end, the struggle for all of us is to, to be fine with ourselves and knowing that we are human beings full of uh, mistakes and errors and faults, but also some good things we may have. <laughs> so, the next attraction of the tour, yes. food from Bali. Oh, good, I'm starving. Where should we go? We should go to the best restaurant in town. Of course. My place. Subtle. <laughs> when you are in Bali for a month, you come back better. The thing about Liz Gilbert is that she's a traveler. That's what she does a lot for her work. It's kind of just part of her idea of thinking and her process is moving and traveling. And I don't think that's right for everybody. I don't think everybody is up for that. I think it can actually um, distract from, you know, focusing on yourself. And not everybody can afford it. So I think a lot can be said for just um, quietly examining your situation at home. I think the movie, you know, is really about the search that we're all on to find happiness and to find balance. It's never too late to change your life. It's never too late to find happiness.